Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. I hope you all have your breakfast and uh, are ready for this chat that we are going to have with uh, Julia Codornieu uh, from, for the local people here. We are not going to talk about cava, this spiritus drink, but because Julia, we were talking, he's his ancestors, are, his parents are from Catalonia, and uh, he's got a very famo famous last name <laughs> here in Catalonia. But we are not going to talk about that. We are going to talk about Facebook platform, which is what uh, we have here at the head of the Facebook platform for uh, Europe, EMEA, and a lot of, uh, and he's got a lot of things to tell us. Very interesting, very interesting things. Uh, the first thing I, I would like to to ask you, Julien, thank you for being here Thanks first. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for showing up at 9.30. Uh, uh, the first one, uh, the first thing I, I would like to ask you is uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what is Facebook platform? Uh, would I, I think it would be interesting for, for the people who just don't know exactly what, what, I, what is it. It's a very good question because the, the definition of the Facebook platform mm -hmm. and the perimeter of the Facebook platform has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when Facebook was created, it was, it was a social network, it was a website. Um, but in 2007, Mark Zuckerberg uh, introduced the Facebook platform. And he said that any developers could now come on Facebook, build Facebook apps for Facebook.com. And I remember at that time, I was at Microsoft. I was in the platform company of Microsoft. And Microsoft is a big platform company. So I considered myself uh, a platform expert, if it means anything. And I remember when Mark Zuckerberg showed up in 2007 and announced the Facebook platform. And he also said that one day there would be companies whose only product would be an app that lives inside Facebook. I thought he was crazy. I saw that Facebook could never become a platform, like Windows was a platform, like Amazon Web Services is a platform. Hmm. And I was you know, absolutely wrong. Uh, Facebook became very, very quickly uh, a software platform, a gaming platform. Companies like Zynga, for example, mm -hmm. like sure. Playdom, uh, really understood the potential. Companies like Social Point in Barcelona were one of the first software companies to understand the potential of platform and to build apps for platform and to be very successful, reaching hundreds of millions of people uh, across the world. And what happened three years ago is that we, as Facebook was shifting to, uh, to mobile, uh, we created a mobile platform, uh, or we created the channels to help our historical platform partners on Facebook to become mobile, uh, just like Facebook. So right now, the definition of platform is, is very different from, from what it was uh, eight years ago. The value proposition of the platform is to help developers to build apps, to grow their apps, to monetize their applications. And our ambition is just to build an ecosystem and to work with any software company who's building applications for iOS, for Android, for uh, Facebook.com, and for the web. In gaming, e-commerce, media, travel, news, you, know, you name it. And sure. I think you know, we, we're, we're trying hard. We have a big team in charge of that now. And, uh, and you know, as a platform company, we do well when our partners do well. So, so building that ecosystem is a very important mission for us. Sure, and, and it's doing very well. I read it's v doing it's, it's being v very profitable. I read some figures uh, that are really big, mm -hmm. right? Uh, like two billion dollars uh, for the gaming business. For yes. the gaming business, yeah. so just the, the gaming business. Yeah. So the gaming business, which is an activity that happens on Facebook.com, it's uh, it's approximately, and that's public information, a three billion dollars business per year. Uh, you know, the biggest players on that platform are you know King.com, Wuga, Social Point in Spain, Zynga, of course, in the US. Mm -hmm. um, 
But what's, what's interesting is that all these companies who started on Facebook.com, as Facebook was shifting to mobile, they also became mobile first companies. And now, you know, the same people you could see on Facebook in the list of top free apps or top grossing apps are the same you can find on iOS and on Android. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think, you know, Facebook can take credit for being maybe the only cross-platform platform, the only company that wants its, uh, his partners and his developers to be successful everywhere, not everywhere. just on the web, not just on Facebook, on the web, on Facebook, on iOS, on Android. And that's something that differentiates Facebook from our competitors. Mobile represents, uh, like, what, 50% 50, 50 of the revenue? It's seven, uh, 70 percent. 70 already? Yeah. I, I read uh, figures a few months ago, like, and it's already 70 percent. Yeah, well, we're in the, uh, in, the, in the Mobile World Congress, so uh, we know what, what your boss was doing here. Yeah. He tried to, to tell us about his, uh, his uh, dream, internet.org. Yeah. Uh, but actually, what are you doing in, in the mobile? What, what are your uh, key events here? So we have, a, we have a big Facebook presence. As you said, our CEO is here for the, for the second time. Uh, I think almost the entire platform partnerships team is here. Uh, the mission for, for me and my team is not so much to talk with telcos, but it's more to talk with partners mm -hmm. and customers. So people who use the Facebook platform on Facebook or on mobile to build applications using our you know, cloud computing services like Parse, for example, or using Facebook mobile app ads to grow their apps or the Facebook audience network to monetize their apps. So you know, as, as our key mission is to build and grow the ecosystem, it's very important for us to always meet the next generation of entrepreneurs, the next generation of apps, the people who will do business you know, in two or three years from now. So we came here to meet people, meet companies, of course, talk to the big guys we already work with, and we have a lot of partners in Barcelona, but also to meet the next, the next gen partners, the ones we don't know about today and that we'll be working with in the next few years. You said, uh, I, I read also, you said that mobile is eating up the world which is a, a, a very uh, descriptive sentence. Yeah. Uh, but you also, uh, you also said that software is, is going to eat up the world also. So I, I think mobile software will be the, uh, the keywords, right? Yeah, so this is, this, that relates to an article from uh, Mark Andreessen, uh, the famous entrepreneur and investor in the, in the Wall Street Journal. And he said that you know, software was eating the world and that ultimately every industry and every company will be disrupted by software. Mm -hmm. And we can even say today that any company and any industry is or will be disrupted by mobile. The challenge is how quickly can you become mobile first? And for Facebook, for example, it was not easy. It was not an easy journey. I mean, when, when Facebook went public, uh, the stock went down because people said that mobile would kill Facebook. And at that time, we, we were making 0% of our revenues on mobile. We went public without making any money on mobile. And so people s thought it was a threat for, for Facebook. You know, hopefully uh, the CEO and the founder of the company had a plan and the plan worked pretty well. But that transition we are going through right now is happening to pretty much every company in, in any industry. Of course, startups, most of the startups we see today are mobile only or mobile first. But every big company, every media company, every e-commerce company, every travel company, they are sh trying to shift to mobile sure. and to be just like Facebook, a company that makes more money, that has more users on mobile. Because, you know, on mobile, user acquisition is, I would say, easier. Monetization is easier and retention mm -hmm. is easier to drive. At least it's, it's, it's more easy to control. So that shift that happened to us is happening to everybody. Sure. And the ambition of Facebook, because we did it ourselves, is to, to give a platform that helps companies to do it. Mm -hmm. And how do you see the, these, these kind of companies, these startups, are they really in a garage uh, trying to do their, their work? They're trying to, to develop things? Or uh, how, how is the profile of your partners? Well, it depends. You know, we work with Fortune 500 companies pivoting to mobile. You know, Group Accor, for example, is one of our partners. In Spain, mm -hmm. we work a lot with Privalia, which is you know, a company that did not start on mobile, who is pivoting to mobile very successfully. Uh, but we also love to work with the two guys in the garage. I mean, when we, when we started working with Social Point, which is a gaming company in Barcelona, first time we met them, they were in the basement of a local incubator mm -hmm. four or five years ago. And now they have 250 employees. They have three floors in the same incubator. They raised $60 million. They have more than 100 million users. 
So we love you know, to be the company that fuels the growth of startups like that, but you know, we have no religion. We work with big guys, medium guys, and we also work with students and entrepreneurs in the garage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you had mobile partnership globally, but, but you, you spend a, a lot of time uh, around EMEA. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, wh what's up about the, the region? Why, why are you excited, uh, so excited about the, the region? I'm excited first because I'm European. <laughs> sure, that's, that's a good reason, so yes. I'd, uh, I would love to see more companies and more startups being successful in Europe. But I'm excited because if you look at what happened in the last few years, especially with you know, the disruption that social and mobile created, uh, you, know, it, it, you don't have to be in the Silicon Valley to be successful. We see amazing successes coming from pretty much everywhere in Europe, from Barcelona, from Paris, from Tel Aviv, from Russia, from you know, Minsk. We have a lot of partners in Minsk. We have a lot of partners in Serbia. I mean, 10 years ago, you, you, would, have, you would not have expected you know, potentially billions, billion dollars of our companies or unicorns, as they say, coming from places like Belgrade or Helsinki. And right now, if you look at Supercell, if you look at Nordius, Social Point here, Wallapop in Barcelona, you see amazing companies popping up from everywhere. And I think that the fact, thanks to mobile and to social, that building software and building apps uh, has never been you know, as cheap as it is today. It costs nothing to build an app, uh, thanks to cloud computing and, and open source but also the cost of distributing software. You can be in Barcelona and create an app that has global reach just by clicking a few, uh, checking a few boxes on, on the App Store. That creates opportunities for talented entrepreneurs. So everywhere we see technical talents, everywhere you see creativity like here, everywhere we see you know, ambitious, uh, uh, ambitious entrepreneurs, I think we'll see more unicorns and billion dollar companies. And you know, it's not just you know, the, the usual hotspots like London or Berlin. It's pretty much every city where you have technical talent and creativity and designers. And this is why Barcelona is de facto a very uh, uh, big hotspot for us. Well, I'm sure you have uh, a lot of uh, discussions about this because it's a very uh, um, controversial uh, question. It's a very controversial uh, point if you, if you go around and say that uh, we can be like Silicon Valley. I'm sure you have a, a lot of discussions. Yes, yes, I know, because if you look, for example, if you look at the top 20 grossing apps on Android in the US, you will find that more than 60% of these apps have been built in Europe. I mean, it's well, a fact. I don't, you know, people can check that every day on their phones. European companies know how to make apps that make money. Well, I'm, I'm sure about that. It, the, yesterday I was talking with a colleague. He, he told me about this uh, the 500 startup uh, incubator. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they said, they, they, he told me that uh, it was a big percentage that came from yeah. all around the world, EMEA, but uh, especially Europe, also in Europe. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure that, that uh, it's going to be. But I mean, uh, especially about how, how the culture of, of innovation and, uh, and startups, how do you think governments, especially, or uh, even uh, private companies, how, how can we uh, make that culture uh, be a part of the, of the process? It's, it's not an easy question. I, I don't expect much uh, from the you know, top to bottom initiatives. Uh, but, but what I love to see is you know, more incubators, more companies, more success stories in places where you had you know, pretty much nothing before. And um, in, you know, it's true about Paris, you know, we had a few successes like Criteo, like Deezer, like Dailymotion you know, or, or Vente Privé. So you know, 10 years ago we had nothing and now we have a few companies like that. Same thing in Spain, same thing in places where you had absolutely nothing before like Minsk or Helsinki or, or, um, uh, or uh, you know, Belgrade in Serbia. So, the more I see entrepreneurs like that, success stories, people reinvesting in the community, and you know, the more I see big VCs from the US or from London investing in these places, the more optimistic I am on, on Europe and, and innovation. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you, you've mentioned several several uh, local startups. Uh, can you tell us about more, uh, a little bit more about this? Uh, these, these local uh, yeah. startups, uh, case so I studies? Th I think the, the Facebook ecosystem in Spain was, was mainly a gaming ecosystem mm -hmm. that started with Social Point. We also work a lot with Akamon, which is also a local company in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the next 
big thing for us is e-commerce. I, I talked about okay. Trivalia, which is a big company here. Everybody knows them. But I met yesterday with one of our you know, biggest customer and partner called Wallapop. Do you know Wallapop here? Yeah? So that's, I mean, that's a company, you know, that's put, we, everybody will talk about them in the next few weeks or months. Their growth is insane. It's a mobile first company. They have a website, but I don't think, you know, it's, 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 it's a significant driver of revenues for them. But when I see companies like that from, you know, first generation entrepreneurs with very, very, very smart VCs behind them, willing to fund them to go global, and Wallapop is going global right now. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very optimistic for our, our ecosystem here. So we try to identify people like that as early as possible to, to become the platform and the partner and the company that fuels their growth and that, try to, that tries to fix every problem they have to build apps, grow apps, and monetize their applications. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to be, uh, as you told me before, uh, backstage, uh, that interesting part of the, of the platform that it, it doesn't have to be visible to the, to the user. It, yeah. it, it might be also... Yeah, yeah, there are many ways to use the Facebook platform. Of mm -hmm. course, you can use Facebook login, you can create a social news feed or a map a la Candy Crush, uh, but you can also use, you know, our push notification services or app events, which is kind of an analytic services on mobile. You can put Facebook ads inside your app, like Shazam is doing, for example. So there are many ways to use the Facebook platform. But the Facebook platform is not, you know, people think of the Facebook platform sometimes as gaming and Farmville, but that has changed a lot. And I think if you look at all the companies in Europe that are raising money, going public, being acquired, you know, being successful, global reach, every time they use the Facebook platform in, in some way. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what would be your, your main advice for the companies that, that come here, uh, that are here to... to <laughs> it's difficult, you know, I'm not an entrepreneur, this is why I work, you know, at Facebook, but, um, you know, my advice is go mobile, work with Facebook. <laughs> sure. That would, that would be selfishly the, the advice I would have. Uh -huh. and, and, and the way of, of, of uh, building a business fast, uh, how, how would you, uh, I don't know, uh, what would be the first step for for a company like if, if they would want to to start with the Facebook platform? How how? So once again, there are many many ways to use the Facebook platform. I think we try to fix every problem that every app developer has, mm -hmm. from you know building the app to growing it to monetizing it. Uh, so it it, de it depends on you know at which stage the companies are. But what we love to see is companies that come and see us and that we can work with very, very, very early on, so that we can, you know, make, you know, recommendations or app reviews or, or competitive, competitive benchmarks and let them know what are the best practices from, you know, the industry or from, you know, companies that are in the same space. But I think, you know, wh wh what's interesting for us is that most, once again, most of the companies we work with right now, they don't have a website. They are just mobile apps. Mobile. Like Instagram or like WhatsApp. Um, and that's fascinating. You know, I started at Facebook four years ago, and four years ago, most of my partners were doing games on Facebook.com. Right mm -hmm. now, you know, Wellapop, e-commerce application, it's not precisely a social application, but they do an amazing use of the Facebook platform. Sure. And we love that. Okay. Well, we ran out of time. I don't know if uh, anybody in the audience want to, wants to make a, any question or... Good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming again. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Thank you.